2018 is nearly over and the dollar looks set to record a fourth year of gains in five. That's despite the recent selling in response to the de-escalation of the trade conflict between the US and China following the G20 Trump Xi meeting last weekend. The euro has not benefited as much from this positive news as have the likes of the Australian and New Zealand dollars or the key currencies in the Asian region. However, we still see plenty of reason to believe that 2019 will be very different to 2018 for euro dollar. Firstly, we believe the dollar is likely to prove more sensitive to economic slowdown. We are in uncharted territory in terms of US government financing needs. Relatively modest declines in US yields will likely have a greater impact on the dollar given the scale of financing needs over the coming years. Trillion dollar budget deficits are set to become the norm. The budget deficit is already growing in GDP terms and the US is currently experiencing the largest worsening of US budget deficit outside of initial post-economic recessionary periods since 1970. According to the Congressional Budget Office, federal deficits will average $1.2 trillion over the 10-year period to 2028. And in GDP terms, the deficit will increase from 3.5% to 5.4% by 2022. US Treasury cross-border flow data already shows weak foreign appetite for US Treasury bonds, despite the yield premium on offer. If the US economy slows, even modestly, and US yields decline, expect the dollar to take a hit. Secondly, the recent indication from Fed Chairman Powell that the federal funds rate is now just below the range of estimates for the neutral rate is very significant. It greatly increases the prospect of a pause next year in the predictable quarterly pace of raising rates. This prospect appears justified to us given the emerging signs of slowdown in the housing sector, the sharp collapse in crude oil prices, and declining core inflation. Thirdly, we do not expect the disappointing economic performance in Europe to persist. We concur with the ECB that temporary factors hit economic activity in Q3. German factory orders have now rebounded, gaining 0.3% in September, in addition to the 2.5% gain recorded in August pointing towards a rebound in production in Q4. The IFO Auto Production Index has also rebounded, indicating easing concerns over the negative impact of new emission testing rules. Fourthly, while Brexit uncertainty is set to extend beyond 2018, following the expected defeat of Prime Minister May's deal in Parliament on the 11th of December, we still expect a deal to be reached and for a no-deal Brexit to be avoided. That will prove a significant boost to business and consumer confidence that will help provide support for the euro. Finally, President Trump's pullback from a new phase of aggression towards China with the suspension of the scheduled increase in import tariffs from 10 to 25 percent will diminish dollar demand. While risks remain of further tariffs in 2019, this step back could indicate a more cautious approach to trade policy from President Trump next year. All of these factors suggest to us that the prospects for the dollar are deteriorating and 2019 may well look more like 2017 rather than 2018. Our December FX forecasts imply the dollar on a DXY basis is set to depreciate by around 6% in 2019.